Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Hawks here. Today we're going to take a look at Lens Island. I've been playing this game off channel for oh, about seven hours of total game time, and um, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And today we're going to take a look at it uh, on some recorded videos, and I'm going to put them up on YouTube and let you guys take a look at them and see what you think of it. Wanted to take a minute really quickly and say thank you very much to Flow Studio for the game key. I do appreciate the chance to enjoy your wonderful little game here, and uh, thank you again. Uh, Lens Island is uh, uh, what I have decided to call a survival builder game um, that has a little bit of um, dungeon crawling aspect to it. Um, so it's very much a overall survival builder, um, fits directly into my genre of what I play. Um, but the building lets you build it pretty much anything you want, really. There's certain places on the island that you can't build, and it is still very much an early access, so there's a lot of places that you can't go just yet, but very, very great. And the roadmap um, of the development looks really good, so I'm eager to see where they go with this. Um, so it's just a really, really relaxing atmosphere. Um, just hop on when you want, kill some time, and you can very much sink time into it in no time fast. So, uh, yeah, dungeon hopping, building what you want, farming, really nice. Yeah, let's hop into it and we'll take a look here. Um, so this was my test world. I've got about, like I said, 70 or seven hours or something like that into it, almost eight. So we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a new game here. We'll call it YouTube. A new game gives you the option to make your character. Um, now I prefer to do the WASD for my movement, although developer does recommend mouse, so you can do it however you want. Then it gives you a chance to just choose where you want Lynn to be from. I don't know how much different that makes difference it makes. Um, but then it lets you pick, you know, a female character type, male character type, and then no, and definitely not. So definitely not. Um, so let's see here. Hair type. Uh, okay, sure. There we go. Nah. We'll go with that blue shirt. Pants? Nah. Shorts. Definitely shorts. Maybe we should go with gray hair. Yeah, gray hair. Wait, I don't want. Yeah, good enough. There we go. Quick loading. Okay, here we start off. Now, anytime there's a bedroll, you can always use it to save or to sleep and skip to the next day. And then your, um, here you go, it tells you anything that you um, drag into your hot bar. So, well, let's let you read through this here. Drag unlocked items into your hotbar to equip them. Drag them off to unequip. Um, unequipped hotbar items are automatically sent to your chest for storage. All your resources are accessible from your backpack at any time. Do not require storage. Food items dragged to your hotbar from your backpack, and etc., etc. So, we have a tool chest. So, all we have now are our basic tools and our basic sword. And then, you can tab and open up your backpack. Currently, we have up to 150 storage. Don't currently have any items. It's our farming tab and then building. We have wood, stone, ornate, and pagoda building. Pagoda they just added recently for the um, Chinese New Year, I believe is what it was, if I remember correctly. Um, I saw that it was the latest update anyway, um, which was really nice addition. Um, I did look a little bit at that in my... Um, my gameplay so far. 
didn't get to build too much with it. So this here is a blueberry bush. Now, if you'll notice when I'm swinging my sword, it has, see how at the apex of the swing, it's got kind of a, no round circle around the end of the blade. If you press the button again at the apex of that swing, it, it gets shinier. That gives you a boost and you'll actually harvest more materials. And same for if you go to like, say we go to a tree, right? There you go, each attack triggers a critical hit. You have to time your attack for a critical hit for more damage. So you do more damage timing your hits instead of holding down to do auto hit. Your, your, your next swing, you see a crit circle expanding. If you click on the, the crit window, you get a, tr uh, a critical hit and you can get more damage, which is nice. Helps you cut down trees faster and you can mine quicker and more damage on enemies. So it helps your resource production be a lot quicker, which is really handy. Because one thing you will do in game is you will harvest a lot. Trust me on that. So now we've got, um, oh, I thought those were blueberries. Did I give us blueberries? Oh, they put them in our hotbar automatically. So there you go. I'm just gonna drag them off and I'll show you. So you got four blueberries in your hotbar. You can grab them and drag them down into your hotbar and that lets us eat. The bottom left there next to the blueberries, you can see we've got 100 health. And on the bottom, 86, the yellow bar is our hunger. So pressing four allows us to fill up our hunger back to 99. Pressing three, we go to our mining pick. And again, if we hit that at the apex, it lets us go a swing of nine instead of just six. Whereas if we just hold left click, we're only gonna get six. But if we get it at the apex of the swing, we actually get nine. So it makes it a big difference to get that bigger damage boost. I don't necessarily know that it gives you more resources, but it sure does help. Get those resources faster. What we're gonna do pretty much this episode is just go around doing a little bit of exploration. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna go up here and this here is, takes us to Bridgewater Town. If you go up and you click on the bridge, it tells you what we need to repair it. We need 80 stone and 80 limestone, or 40 limestone, excuse me. So if you had it, you can click on the repair bar. It would be highlighted and it would let you repair the bridge to get over there. And that's actually a really important place to go. Let's see if we can get enough resources to, to repair that and I'll show you why. There's a bottle right there. You walk over that, you actually collect that and it turns it just into glass in your inventory. And plus you also get some funny little um, achievements for walking over and collecting so many of them. Let's go ahead and try to grab enough stone and limestone to get the bridge repaired here. So that's 70. So it's early Saturday morning for me, the 19th of February. So I've actually had this key for about six days. Um, and I'm just now able to finally do some content for it. So it took me a few days. Actually just recovering from a surgery. Otherwise I would have had this already done and on the channel by now. I'm gonna try to get this up yet this weekend if I can. Oh, here's a barrel. These are very important whenever you see them in the water. Try to go over and grab them. Because that allows you to get charcoal sometimes and mostly uh, important for the um, 
metal scrap that comes out of them. And from what I've seen, I believe they do respawn. Very, very important. Okay, now we're going to hit our 150 max on limestone, so I'm actually going to chop, stop chopping limestone. I'm going to move a little bit farther inland, and I'm going to look for more stone here. Oops. Go ahead and grab a few more berries. There we go. That's what I want right there. Four stone, and it looks like we had one metal shard there out of that. Nine blueberries. So the different colored, well, you can't really see it because of the trees. But we just cut down some lavender there and some marigold. The different uh, colored flowers there will let us. Um, have different types of flowers and it actually lets us uh, collect those and there's a vendor across the bridge that actually buys those. You can though if you need save as many of them as, as you can. There's actually a vendor over there that sells things that cost flowers as well. For sure how many videos we're going to do in this series of Lens Island. I know it won't be a series that I just do a couple of and stop because um, with the roadmap being um, in constant progress until the game is actually out and completed, it may just be a series that we go back and visit as they make updates to the game. So it may just be one that we do a few videos on. And then as they do more updates, we go back and, and see what's changed. And then we go back and do a few more videos on as things update and change along the way. Kind of follow the roadmap progress, if that makes sense. But I definitely wanted to get the content started on it. You can kind of see where they were. And just get it out there, because it's it's been a really neat little game. We've almost got our 80 stone. 72 so far. Go ahead and grab this clay here because it won't hurt anything to have the clay. Um, there we go. This should get us our I think this will get us the 80 stone, I believe. There you go, I kept missing my swing. Yep, that got us our stone, okay. Let's hop back up here. We'll walk in and collect our bottles here. Some more scrap. More glass. More blue ace are always welcome. Roses. I'm gonna go back and get the flavor text of this little fishing hut too. So walking over here, if you click on it, it says once the perfect residence for an experienced fisher hasn't been lived in for many years with some love and care, the shack can be a home to a fishing friend one day. So I'm guessing eventually that's going to let us rebuild that for somebody for fishing. Again, probably part of the roadmap, very likely. Save here. 
Now, if, you, if we could sleep on it, it would be highlighted sleep, but we can't sleep on it right yet because it's not late enough. So, now if we click on it, you can see we've got the stone and the limestone are both in the yellow. So we have enough for the resources because they're not red. And the repair is also highlighted blue. So if we highlight it, it turns green and we can actually repair it. And then we can walk across the bridge. And that's going to load us into Bridgewater. So here is the mayor, Mayor Gerald. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I'm just passing through, thanks. Or, what is this place? This is, this is Bridgewater, traveler. My name is Gerald, or Gerald, depending upon, you know, where you're from, how you want to say it. I'm the mayor of this corner of the world. Shuttling on the island, be aware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Ooh, mysterious. Many travelers have come to the island in search of its power. Few have ever returned. Ooh, no. The town is built by travelers such as yourself, seeking new beginnings, and the island is a paradise for those who dare to live on it. Just be careful, my friend. Duly noted. Thank you very much. All right, so he was talking about, of course, Forgotten Island, where we just came from. And there are a few flowers here we can go ahead and cut down. And I'll show you why here in a minute. These, I think, will just give us... Oh, those, are, those were some lavender there. You can go in some of the houses and explore, but there's nothing in there to take, really. It's just exploration is all it is. So this, I believe, is one of the water towers we can actually build. This guy became very important to me, although I don't really know if I should show you that or not. We'll see. Uh, this is just practice for um, combat. Uh, this here is a weapon rack that we can eventually make ourselves and store, you know, shields, um, swords, um, different weapons in. Uh, if we can make one of our own. These here are just to be destroyed. You don't get anything out of them. Unfortunately, I wish you could get scrap out of them. That would be great. Now, actually, let's go up here a little bit. Yeah, so here's the druid up here. Uh, Wabba Jabba Baba. Wada who's there. So I'm just browsing your goods. See ya. So up here on his table, he's got um, a shield that has passive blocking, active blocking, and things like that. So if we have fibrous, a marigold, 25 passage fruit, and 60 wood, we could actually buy the shield from him. And then he's got a sword. It's got high speed, low knockback, marigolds, lavender, iron shards, wood, fibers. We could actually buy that from him. Um, I think that little icon in the bottom left corner is actually a special attack you can do with it. I don't intend on buying those yet, so I'm not going to be saving my stuff to give him just yet. And you can't actually cut down any of his flowers. Probably because he's a druid and, you know, druids like their flowers. You can actually buy um, pumpkins, you can buy watermelon, bread, uh, grapes, wheat, bananas, um, what is this, passion fruit, and blueberries from this lady at the farmer's market. But, more importantly, basically there's just a lot of vendors in this town. This is the most important thing to me. This upgrade to the backpack here. You can make your inventory slots up to 250. So you can carry 250 of each item and your hotbar slots up to five instead of just the four. So that'll be the first thing we want to, personally, that I would increase is uh, you need 75 gold coins. That was the problem. And we currently have zero. So what I've had been doing is I would sell all of my flowers that I picked up in the wild. And so that gets me 20 right away, right? Then, um, what you can do, I just ran around on this island. Whether it was a good thing to do or not, I don't know. I would just cut down all the wood that I could And let me just grab 
have this wood here. And I'll show you. I think that got me wood. Got 104. Let me go ahead and fill up on 130 wood and I'll show you. Almost there. Of course, it is nighttime now. So we need 50, was it 75? So we need 55 more wood. Yeah, keep in mind we have a hunger bar, so we have to keep eating as we go. If our hunger gets too low, it's going to start zapping our health. Okay, so we have our, our wood is full, right? So we go over to this guy and we can sell him all of our wood. Which is only 150 for 15 at every time. So we can fill up 150 wood and sell him for 15 at a chunk until we get to 75. So... I'm gonna really quickly mute the mic and speed up the um, footage to get up to the 75 wood that we need and go buy the increased backpack storage. So yeah, I'll see you folks in a minute. Once in a while, you will get attacked by, I don't know if it was bees or something. I'm guessing it was bees. So, yeah. They didn't like it when I did that. 65, so one more round of cutting trees down. We should be good. Almost there. I don't know. This just seemed to be the quickest way that I could tell to get... 75 gold that I needed to get the like quick insta upgrade whether this was the right thing to do or not I don't know doesn't seem to be a penalty for doing it so Plus it's a hundred extra of every resource that you can carry in your backpack. To me it just seemed the smartest thing to do. Plus, I mean, you're right here by all the resources that you can cut down. So, yeah. 
common sense would dictate if they didn't want to be able to do this, they wouldn't have left all these trees here, the ability to cut down. Okay, so should give us what 80? 80? 80 of the finest. Alright, so let's go over here. Go see a lady about a backpack. So we want to buy. So now we gain an extra slot in our backpack, and now we have 250 resources available to us. So we don't have any shards, no light stones rather, and no dark essence. Now, other things we can also do here. There is a blacksmith which has super nice mace. Look at that. Oh. Really nice. Can't wait to get that bad boy. But you can also buy um, coal here later and then metal, which would be super nice. Iron shards. And then uh, you can also buy, let's see, what is it? Uh, stone, I think. Stone, limestone, and uh, clay, which, I mean, you could mine all that. I don't know why you'd need to buy it, but you can if you need to. If you're just having a hard time, I guess. Some more flowers to sell. You don't have to sell them. This here, to me, was the quickest way you could uh, get a lot of your fibers. Just walk along here. Oops. Cut all these down super fast. Um, let's see. Can't cut that down. This guy over here on the boat has got some nice stuff. Later on when you start smelting stuff, you can actually sell off your uh, gems that come out of the clay. It's got a really nice Norse, Norse shield, but that's 650 coins. And a really nice lance, but ugh, 800. Nice uh, sword as well. But you know, a lot of coins. A lot of coinage. Um, decent stuff here, not too bad, not terribly expensive. Oh, you can sell your extra glass there. I did not pay attention to that before. Okay. Some of the more... Um, more readily available stuff for us would be here. 80 and 85. These would be something that we could go farm some more wood here on the island for. Um, actually, we may just do that real quick. Or I may just do that off camera. I think I might just call that good for a good starter. But yeah. Um, might just call that good there for the starter video. Um, for the intro. And then we'll come back. And next time I might have the... Let's see what they're called here. The saber arg <laughs> and the chopper chop arg saber arg and chop arg already gotten wow really dipped down in in uh, fps right there for some reason random anyways um I might just have those farmed up that way you don't have to worry about it next time yeah so we'll see you guys next time i hope you enjoy this little preview of lens island and uh we'll try to do some building next episode as well to find somewhere to live so we'll see you guys then
Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.